In high school, I was taking all these pre-calculus classes for college credit and struggling with them because I didn't enjoy it. I enjoyed goofing around, I enjoyed writing, I enjoyed, we were doing comedy shows with other guys. That's where my passion was and uh, that's more what I wanted to do. When I came to the university, it was, uh, there were requirements uh, of at least one math or science class and uh, um, I did the minimum because what I wanted to do was write and production and uh, creative writing classes and acting classes and, and the such. The advice I got from a teacher here, uh, Al Sloat, who used to teach a writing class here, um, said you got to give yourself at least two years in LA. You don't move out into a city of 10 million people and all of a sudden know every producer that's doing every show. Um, it takes time and it takes time just to get your foot in the door somewhere. Having a master's degree in filmmaking or knowing all this stuff is not going to get you a job because they just oftentimes want someone who can get them coffee and make sure the lunch order isn't screwed up. And if you can do that well, there's always a chance that you can move up the ladder then. You can learn from any part of the job. Whenever I wasn't schlepping things around, if I had a free half hour or during my lunch break, I would go down to the stage and I would hang out and just learn through osmosis. And late at night when we were waiting for the rewrites to happen, I'd write my own scripts. And, and if I had a good relationship with one of the writers, I'd show them stuff. It's not something you can just go in and go, here, you got to read this. But you establish that relationship and it may be from, it may take a while, um, but once you get to become friends with someone, you eventually say, hey, would you mind taking a look at this on your own? It's about building relationships because everyone you meet on the way up, you're going to meet again on the way down. One of my film professors here, Frank Beaver, um, gave me great advice in, in going out. He knew I was going out to L.A. and he was like, well, you should look someone up. Uh, there's a former student of mine who uh, is writing a film right now, some science fiction thing, I don't know what it is, and you should look him up because he's a Michigan man and the, the Midwest mentality is a big thing. I never did it because I, I was like, oh, I felt bad. It was like, I didn't want, he's a writer, I didn't want to go into the writing, and I never looked it up and it happened to be Larry Kasdan and he was writing The Empire Strikes Back at the time, and just a little film, um, but I never bothered him. I didn't want to bother him, and I saw him 20 years later at a Michigan dinner, told him the story, and he cracked up, and he was like, what are you, an idiot? Why didn't you call me up? He, we would have talked about the football team, and he was just a Michigan guy, and just, uh, that's what we try to bring. The, part of the reason I come back here is, is the Michigan, you know, that experience. I like having the Michigan people out there, and hopefully we'll give them a break more so than I will give someone from USC. You know. <laughs>